yesterday class did you attend yes ma'am okay. i attended mm, very good so now uh, the next topic of discussion is uh, instruction format uh, yesterday we studied about this stack organization no yes, instruction formats okay okay um so you as you know an instruction um contains a memory reference instruction contains uh, address and uh, um, data and mode also okay so a, how, how many addresses how many addresses it contains and uh, uh, what is uh, um, what is the organization of instruction that is all um, uh, decided based on uh, the organization of uh, the cpu so cpu are organized as a single accumulator or general register or stack single accumulator organization of cpu will have an accumulator uh, register um, and all the operations are performed with an implied accumulator register so this is like um, if if i if we say add of x then what happens it is saying like ac equal to ac plus m of x add of x is like ac equal to ac plus m of x we okay. is this accumulator and mx is uh, mx symbolizes memory word located in address x okay uh, if uh, uh, do you remember the general general register organization no ma'am no there are seven registers are there r1 r2 r3 register no so in case of general register organization you can say like this add r1 comma r2 comma r3 uh, so it is like um, um, saying r1 equal to r2 plus r3 Okay. Uh, okay. If I say, if 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 I say add R one comma R two, then this is like R one is equal to R one plus R two. Here you are using three different registers, whereas here you are using only two registers. Okay. Hmm. Or using only two registers, you are performing an arithmetic operation, whereas uh, here you are using three here like this. Um, okay. Uh, both the operands are stored in R two and R three. You are adding and uh, storing the sum into R one. Here, mm. first operand is R one, a second operand in R two, and then the result, the sum is you are uh, uh, transferring into R one only. Okay. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Do you understand? Mm. Next, yes, ma'am. Next move. Move, move. Instruction is like um, transferring the contents from R to R one. That is move. Okay. And uh, then uh, general uh, register type for computers employ two or three address fields in their instruction format. Uh, we have single accumulator. we have general register so in general register organization we have two or three address fields in their instruction format and each yeah. address field may specify a processor register or a memory bus so if okay. we say add r1 x it is like r1 is equal to r1 plus m of x and what is m of x sir m of a, m is memory okay. okay memory x is the address m of okay. x means the contents of memory location with 
you whose address is x okay ma'am it is like m means notebook x means page number so okay if i say that co co you you will have different notebooks right so if yes, i say co notebook page number 10 then okay, what what will be the result the result will be whatever notes you write on page number 10 that the contents be. of that page number 10 okay yes, okay will be uh, retrieved then stack organization means here you perform all the operations on stack push x means you are pushing the um, element yes element uh, into the stack actually okay. here x is the address so okay. if we if, if we give Mm, if we give the address, then what happens? We will retrieve the element at that address, and we will insert in the uh, stack. Okay. Add means uh, it will perform uh, double pop. Yesterday I told you know when you use uh, when uh, a stack encounters uh, an operator, it pops the la uh, first two elements. It pops and then Uh, it performs the addition so here also you can see add means it pops the first two uh first two uh, elements and then it perform addition on those two. so okay mm, so we have uh general accumulator organization we have ge reg general register single accumulator mm -hmm. Organization, general register organization, and stack organization. Okay. Okay. Next, we will look at how the number of addresses um, are defined for uh, different instructions. We will look at with an example. This is an example. Hmm. Three address instruction. What do you mean by three address instruction? Here you see, this is a op code, hmm? operation code. These are three addresses. Okay, so these are the three addresses for, and this is the op code. And so this is called as three address instruction. What okay. is R one equal to? M of A, M is memory, A is the address. M of B, M is memory, B is another address. So you are adding the contents of two memory locations, and uh, um, their sum is transferred into R one. That is, add R two comma C comma D. What does this means? This means. What does this means? Add R two comma C comma D. This is like R two is equals to M of C plus M of D. Madam. Hmm hmm. Can we take A equal to R one plus M of B? Can we take A equal to R one plus M of B? A A A equal to Yes, ma'am. M of What? A equal to M of A equal to very good question. This M of A equal to R one plus M of B can be done in CISC machines. CISC okay. machines are complex instruction set. Uh, at uh, CIS uh, uh, complex instruction set computers. RIS yeah, yeah, yeah. RIS means reduced instruction set computers what you asked is uh, you are doing the operation um, on uh, memory uh, word okay actually you are doing operation on memory word and register and then you are storing that sum into memory that is possible in CISC but not in RISC in RISC you should have 
like this only. Okay, okay. understand? Okay, ma'am. Mm. It will be stored in M of A, na, ma'am. Mm. Uh, the result, uh, the result uh, uh, will not be stored in M of A. Result will be stored in R one in R I S C. This is R I S C machine. Okay. Mm. Now, what is it out? In M I S C, where will be it stored? C I S C. C I S C. Okay. Mm. In C I S C computers, you can directly manipulate the contents of memory. uh that is possible in cisc here you can put okay wait here you can you you can say m of a m of a means this is like memory word oh yes m of a is equal to this is this arrow left arrow means this is like equal to you uh, this 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 operation is possible in uh, cisc but in risc yes, you should have this side registers okay is it, does it uh, uh, clarify your doubt madam the uh, your doubt is clear or not yes ma'am hmm so next multiplication uh look at here in M mul you are doing the same thing what you are saying okay hmm here am i m of x you are putting yes hmm so um you are uh, putting you are storing the result of multiplication back into uh um memory so uh, then might be these instructions belong to cisc architecture okay okay, okay. next two address instruction means you see here there are only two addresses there you have okay. three addresses s r1 a b here you have two addresses r1 a r1 b so uh, what you are doing in this you are copying the uh, data from memory into register and then you are adding register and memory contents and storing in uh, register uh -huh. and then again getting the memory contents into register and then a uh, performing operation and storing the result into register and then here uh, what you are doing multiplication on these two registers and result goes again into r1 yes this is like a equal to a equal to 10 suppose a equal to 10 B equal to five. Suppose, suppose if I want to perform uh, multiplication and store the result in A, then what do you do? A is equal to A into B. A into B. So same thing you are doing here also. Then now A, or uh, previously A had a value ten. After this operation, A will get a value. Fifty. This is into. Okay, so A gets a value fifty after this operation, and you are moving the result, which is uh, stored in R one, to memory M of X. Okay, this is two address register. One address register means, look at here. You have only. single address so load a means you are loading memory word uh, having address a into ac then add b means you are adding memory word 
uh, having address B with AC and storing the result into mm -hmm. AC. Store T means you okay. are storing the contents of AC into uh, memory, uh, memory. With T. Load C means you are loading uh, the con uh, the memory contents uh, with address C into AC. Add D means you are adding AC plus memory M of D. Multiply T means you are multiplying AC with M of D. And store X means M of X is equal to AC. Means whatever is there in AC you are storing into M of X. This is one address instruction. Madam, hmm? what is yeah. the difference between M of X and M of X? What is the difference between M of T uh, and M of X? M of T and M of X? M yes, ma'am. Okay. This is M. Suppose this is M. Means this is memory, okay? Memory will have locations, memory locations. And suppose these memory locations addresses are A, B, then C, then D, then T is also there, for example, here we will divide and this is T. So M of A means this part. Yes. Okay. okay. M of A means this part. M of T means this part. M of B means this part. Understand? Okay. Zero address instruction means you don't give any address here. You only specify the elements. Push of A means you are pushing element A into stack. Push of B means you are pushing element B into stack. Push of C means no add. Add means you are adding A plus B. Like what we did yesterday. What we did yesterday, I will show you here. Here, push of three. This is push of four. This is mul, M U L, mul, multiply three and four. So what, what happens when you say mul of 3 and 4? This is mul. Multiply. Then 4 will be popped. 3 will be popped. And you perform multiplication of 3 and 4. And then put the result back into stack. Same thing you are doing here. Here. Okay. Uh, assume that this A, B, C, D are some numbers. Then what are you doing? You are saying push of 3, push of 4, add. Means add 3 and 4. Then push of 5, push of 6, uh, add means adding 5 and 6. Then mul, mul multiplying uh, 7 and 11. And then pop of x means uh, you are... Uh, uh, removing the final result from stack and uh, uh, storing into memory m of x do you understand yes ma'am in risc instructions in risc what happens is it is a combination look at here risc is a combination of two address and three address um, so you have all load statements in the beginning and all operations in the um, for in the middle and all store uh, instructions at the end okay 
so load all you are loading contents of a b c d into four registers r1 r2 r3 r4 and then you are adding r1 and r2 and storing in r1 and you are adding r3 and r2 and storing in r3 and then multiplying r1 and r3 and storing the result in r1 and finally you are storing the final result into memory with address x m of x okay that that was about instruction formats we studied about single register organization general register organization uh, and then stack organization single register organization is nothing but single accumulator and the general register means r1 r2 up to r7 and stack organization means you are using push and pop in stack and then you have three address instruction two address instruction and then zero address instruction and risc instruction and now coming to the next topic uh, all of you are clear with the previous topic can i move ahead with the next topic any doubts yes ma'am okay so uh, going ahead uh, we will study addressing modes addressing modes you know uh, we have operation field in an inst uh, of uh, you know in an instruction format you have an operation field and you have address part and then this operation must be executed on some data and data may be stored in computer registers or memory words so the way uh, the operands are chosen during program execution is dependent on addressing modes so what is an addressing mode addressing mode specifies a rule for interpreting or modifying the address field of the instruction before the operand is actually referenced you will understand the meaning of this as we go along so we will look at addressing modes the first addressing mode is implied mode so what what is what does implied mode means implied mode means the operands are specified implicitly in the definition for example complement accumulator if i say complement accumulator then where is the operand can anyone tell me where is the operand in complement accumulator yes students addressing mode specifies uh, where is the operand where the operand is located there are a uh, various uh addressing modes first one is implied mode in implied mode you don't specify where the operand is um, do you remember cma how many of you remember cma what is cma no one remembers what is cma this is our instruction this is our uh 0 to 12 bits first part if i say here 0 to 11 if i say here cma 
what does cma means students please don't do like this tell me what does cma means nandini saraswati pavani kirti yutha anyone please tell me what is cma compliment of addressing compliment compliment of addressing i think compliment of addressing no 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 accumulator yes. Hmm? Yes. cma compliment means compliment accumulator very good anyway your answer was partially right i am happy that you responded uh, students i urge you all to res give response even it may not be totally right it may not be you know um, it may be totally wrong also but you please give response so cma is complement accumulator when i say cma in an instruction wh what does it means where is the op operand suppose uh, the operand is 4 where is the operand uh, stored operand is stored in accumulator register this is accumulator the four value is stored in this when i say cma i am not specifying the operand value i am not saying four rather i am saying you whatever is there in the accumulator complement it okay so in accumulator this is accumulator ac this is what is this this is ir this is instruction register so in instruction register you have the first part 0 to 11 bits means total 12 bits implied mode means operands are implicitly specified second is immediate mode in immediate mode operands are specified in the instruction itself so you have this instruction if i say for here then here this part is specifying the operand this is the operand this is operand this is known as immediate mode okay in the previous example we are not specifying any operand rather we are specifying the uh, specifying where the operand is so it is in accumulator and you are telling complement accumulator Here you are specifying the operand directly within a instruction. Uh, essentially, this is known as immediate mode. Next register mode. In the register mode, you the operand the operand reside in register. Operand reside in register. so if i say uh r1 here what does r1 means r1 means it is a register which is holding the operand and r1 register may be here which may have the operand 4 okay this is r1 okay next register in direct mode register in direct mode means what a uh, instruction specifies a register in the cpu whose contents give the address of the operand in memory so in an instruction you have here you have the register name r1 and r1 will contain memory address 
for instance a suppose a is the address of the memory then our operand will reside in this memory which is pointed to by a this is a this is our memory m so in the uh, instruction we have register name in the register we have the memory address and the memory address in the memory address you have the operand 4 this is 4 understand next auto increment or auto decrement oh, means this is similar to register indirect except the register is incremented or decremented after its value is used to access memory what does this means r1 hmm? contains a after you access a r1 value is incremented a plus 1 suppose which is equal to b so next time you try to access the memory location b it can increment or it can decrement also so in decrement in the scenario where you have to decrement after you access a uh, it is a minus 1 suppose it becomes z okay and you try access z from memory okay so this is auto increment auto decrement what is an effective address effective address is the address uh, of the operand is defined to be memory address obtained from the computation dictated by the given addressing mode so effective address is the address of the operand okay so in this case what is the effective address is r1 the effective address no a is the effective address because at a you find 4 okay direct address mode means you if you remember direct address mode um in an instruction this is our instruction in an instruction you have here the address for instance a and suppose this is a memory and memory has a so here you will find your operand 4 this is direct address mode indirect address mode means uh this is our instruction in this instruction you will have a and in this memory at a a you will find not 4 you find b which is another address suppose b is here at b you will find 4 okay this is indirect address mode is relative address mode relative address mode means the contents of program counter is added 
to the address part of the instruction to obtain the effective address. So here you will have PC which is a program counter which contains the address and then um, this is our this is our instruction IR okay instruction register in instruction register you will have address suppose A and in PC you will have a value which has to be added to A suppose in PC you have 1 okay uh, now what happens is how do you get the address you get the address by adding a plus 1. A is the address part of instruction register plus whatever is there in PC. So suppose if this is equal to B. Okay. Then in memory you will have B where you will find 4. 4 is our app operand. So actually uh, this whole idea is about finding the address of the operand. Understand? Next indexed addressing mode. In this the contents of IR is added to the address part of the instruction to obtain the effective address. Both are same. The difference is here the contents of program counter is added to the address part. Here the contents of index register is added to the address part. Uh, instead of PC, if I put here IR, index register, then that is added to this A and get to get the effective address. Base register addressing mode. In this contents of base register, is added to the address part. Okay. Uh, this is similar to indexed addressing mode except the register is now called the base register instead of index register. These two are similar index register indexed addressing mode and base register addressing modes mode both are similar because uh, both does the same thing they add the contents of uh, uh, address part of instruction with the contents of index register in case of indexed addressing mode and uh, contents of base register uh, in case of base register addressing mode. Uh, let us look at uh, a numerical example then the concept will become very clear. Look at this. This is our memory. It has these addresses. Uh, instead of 200, 201, 202, I was taking A, B, C, D, Z. And these are our registers, program counter, R1 register. This is uh, um, uh, index register, accumulator, hmm. let's see what happens. Uh, okay, direct address means Okay, look at here. This is direct address. Direct address means. Uh, okay, before that, we'll look at this. 500. Mm -hmm. 
your direct address yes student any doubt look at here direct address means effective address will be 500 and the upper end will be 800 immediate upper end means effective address is 201 and the contents will be 500 Uh, please give me one minute time. I will open this book in my mobile and then explain you. All right, so um, look at here. In direct address, um, we are, uh, th th this, this is our instruction, okay? This is our instruction. At, at location 200 is our instruction. Mm, in uh, direct address, uh, if you give 500, uh, whatever is there in 500 that will become the operand in direct address because uh, 500 is the effective address in immediate operand at uh, address at at uh, look at 201 uh, whatever is the value that will become the uh, operand hmm. uh, look at here i i explained you here hmm. Ah, here, this one, this one. Whatever is there in the instruction, as part of the instruction, that is only the operand. So, this is, uh, this, this 500 will become the operand. Uh, when um, actually this this together is the instruction this both 200 and 201 this all is like an instruction so if uh, uh, you say it is immediate then whatever is there in the address part it will become the uh, operand next uh, if I say it is uh, indirect. If I say it is indirect, then what happens? Then what happens is you at five. You go to five hundred, and you consider this to be address, not the operand. Indirect. This is considered as uh, operand. Uh, whereas in uh, indirect, this is considered to be uh, another address. So you go to this address and this will be treated as operand because it is indirect address. Then a relative address means you add the contents of um, register 1. Whatever, what value is there in register 1? that you add uh, to get the address so in register one you have 400 400 uh, is added 
actually for it should add it should add 400 to the address part of the instruction it should be 900 actually but it is showing 702 contents of ac is 325 so 325 some this for uh, you know uh, indirect address, uh, relative address. Relative address e means uh, starting address, you know, whatever is there in the um, register that is added to the address part of the memory. Um, it should be actually 900, 400 plus 500. I don't know how it is that I'll uh, just go through it once more and I'll let you know. But for now, try to understand that uh, we will add uh, the address part with the register part. Index yes. address. Yes, yes. Yes. You have the solution to that? Okay. Um, uh, another address is indexed address. Indexed address means uh, the effective address is 600. Uh, index address means this 100 is added to 500. So 500 is added to this 100 to get a 600 and our operand is 900. Register means uh, this 400. Uh, whatever is there in the register, uh, that register indirect means um, 400 whatever is there at at, at at the location 400 so 700 is the operand and auto increment means uh, first you take the 700 and then you increment auto decrement means uh, you read uh, 400 and you make it a 399 out in auto decrement only problem that is coming is here in a relative address. Let me check. All of you, please go through this example once. I will check out why it is uh, giving 702. All of you, please go through this to understand it. And this and this actually. Uh, Ma'am, relative address means we should add program counter to the address. Which one? Relative? Yes. Uh, okay, 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 right. Right, right. Relative is uh, program counter to address. Right, right. Very good. <laughs> so, program counter has 200. Uh, and address has 500. So, 500 plus 200, 700. Very good. Uh, who said it? It's me, Madam Yudha. You're very good, Yudha. So I was uh, uh, wondering how, how you how we got that, but it is uh, 500 plus PC is 200. A relative address mode. The pro, the contents of program counter is added to the address part of the instruction. Right. Uh, students understand did you all understand please go through students it is not uh, so uh, simple and straightforward you need to learn this and also please go through this also please go through this also tomorrow um, i will try to complete this uh, 8.6 and uh, 8.7. I think uh, we need two more classes to complete this chapter. 8.6, 8.7, 8.8. Three uh, 
topics are left uh, in this chapter so let us you know, take two two classes tomorrow and day after tomorrow but if you read and come once it will um help me in going little fast okay um okay students so i'll stop my class now i hope you have understood please go through the topics once again bye